James' son, Prince Charles, was called the little black boy of England. Really? Why? Because they were black people. All right. All right. Guess what? They called it the Dark Age. Now, now you went somewhere else, so I'm going to educate you. They called it the Dark Ages because really? we was ruling Europe. That's the right. word Europe actually comes from the word Ethiopia, which means burnt face. That's we right. were ruling in Europe at that time, bro. When the Bible was authorized by King James, a black man, he had he had the best Hebrew scholars, black men, to translate the Bible into English out of Hebrew so we would have it today because we know that we would lose our heritage and we would be confused and have confused in the face and think we were Egyptians when God said we better than the Egyptians. Our God, a Bible has a, a beginning and an ending. We are energy sources. We don't have a, we don't have a beginning and an ending. We are higher than that. We can go beyond a book. That's what I'm saying. We are energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I, like I, 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 I'm not saying that none of what you're saying is wrong, because I, like I said, I'm all about oneness. I'm not about peace, because the peace is a part of things. I'm about wholeness. All I'm saying when I pass by, I was saying we all need to come together, unity. You know so, what I'm how do we come together? That How cross. do we come together? Because that onk is the same thing as that cross. If that's what you're about to say, that cross don't mean nothing. Yeah, it is. The onk is the same thing as the cross. Both of those are idols that represent Tammuz. They ain't got nothing to do with the Bible or you as a black man. It's about a woman and a man coming together. So basically you saying you the got a cross. so basically you saying you got a penis and a vagina on your neck. That make you sound crazy, that's, bro. That's wholeness. That's not wholeness. That's idolatry. Woman, that's a God and a God. Come back at 2 and 18. Come back at 2 and 18. It's not about one man. My it's brother. about a man and woman. My brother. Where you come from? It's about Where it's about from? the nation of Israel. Where you come from? I come from my father. You come from a woman. I come from my father. Because right. guess what? Before you were implanted into your mama's womb, you was in your daddy's nutsack, boy. You was in your daddy's nutsack before he implanted you into your mama. You come from a woman, man. A womb. Bro. Bruh, you was in your daddy's nutsack first, bruh. You come from your father. Read. Read. The book of Rebecca, chapter 2 and verse 18. What profit is the graven image? What profit that graven image on your neck, read? That the maker thereof has graven it. The molten image. The molten image. And a teacher of life. You know what lie that thing taught you? That you come from a woman. That The lie that was taught to you is that you come from a woman. You come out your daddy's nutsack first, bruh. Give me number. Numbers 118. Give me numbers 118. Actually, give me numbers one. Give me Romans one and three. You listen. Give me Romans one and three. I'm trying to take. No, 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 no. Take your shoes off. No, that's that's some worship is what you're doing. That's some worship. Yo, yo, dumb ass gonna go blind staring in the sun, bro. Read the book of Romans, chapter one and verse thirteen. One and three. One and three. Concerning this, son Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David. What is the seed? Where did the seed come from? Where did the seed come from? The seed comes out of a man's nutsack, bro. The seed comes out of a sack. And the seed gets impregnated into a womb. You be walking around with no can, hey, hey, can a woman? No, 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 no. We ain't talking about that. We ain't talking about that foolishness. We're going to talk about the first thing you said. Can a woman get pregnant without a man? Can a woman get pregnant without a man? I guarantee you. Can a woman get pregnant without a man? Can a woman get pregnant without a man? You still eat meat, right? Yes, I do. I eat lawful, clean meat that the Bible says we can eat. I want him to come back and answer the question. Can a woman get pregnant without a man? So y'all see the foolishness? Y'all see the foolishness? He can't answer one question, so he's trying to jump to something else. Stop doting about questions. If you're going to stand on your doctrine, come stand on your doctrine. Be ten toes down. Be a man about it. That's how you build. That's how you build. Let's, let's see if we're not supposed to be eating meat. You know what I want? Give me Genesis. We just talked about this. Give me Genesis. The, hey, the most high God is an awesome God.
lie. The Bible is a true book, and this is a faith builder. On our way down here to Lafayette from Baton Rouge, we just talked about this on the in the car ride. When the Most High gave us meat to eat. Give me, give me Genesis 9 and 3. Genesis 9 and 3. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 9 and verse 3. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. It said, every living thing that liveth shall be meat. What? Read. Even as I have given the green herb. So the same way he gave us the green herb, he gave us meat to eat. That's, that's the foolishness of our people. Egyptology and all that foolishness he's talking about came from a white man. Right. That came from a white man. Read. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. Bring it out. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that it doeth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. It says all they that keep the laws of God shall come to life. But all those that stray from it, they're going to be walking around with penises and vaginas on their neck thinking they deep. Right. Following the white man's religion, thinking they deep. Because Egyptology is the white man's religion. Because guess what? Ain't nan nigga in the hood know how to read no hieroglyphics. Nan nigga. Nan nigga in the hood know how to read no metanetta. Nan nigga in the hood know how to read cuneiform. But guess what? Everybody want to think they deep. Everybody want to try to say King James was a white man. King James was the last king of Scotland. Right. The word Scott comes from the word Swarte, which means black. Right. King James had a son named Prince Charles that was called the little black boy of London. Right. The word Europe means burnt face. It comes from the word Ethiopia. Bring it out. They were black people ruling in the Dark Ages. They called it the Dark Ages because black people came out of Russia and ruled Europe. You can still go to these churches in Russia, in the Ukraine. There's a church called the Varney that has black images in the church. There's a book called the Russian Icons that will show you the black images of Jesus Christ, the black images of Peter, the black images of Paul. Matter of fact, on this side right here, it shows you that in the Vatican, they still worship the black Madonna. Not that you should be bowing down to an idol, because it is an idol, but why they give you white Mary? But then the Pope go bow down to a black woman, Mary. Come on now, come on now. Egyptology and Christianity is the same thing. The only difference between the Christian cross and the Egyptian onk is they put a circle on the onk. Right. And gave you some BS logic about it being a, a, a penis and a vagina. Right. That's stupid as hell. Right. That is stupid as hell. Because guess what? Just because you stick a penis into a vagina don't mean life gonna come out. Because the most high can close up some wounds. Because right. the laws of God is where life comes from. So if you ain't keeping the laws of God, he can't close up a woman's womb. Right. And a woman cannot have a baby without a man. Right. There is no such thing as a bottling gland that secretes uh, semen. That is some more BS that was made up. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation, nation.